been going up against Alliance's Pippi Andrew, who has had nothing short of an incredible 2021. Felipe Andrew in the blue gi. Most recently won the absolute division at the Pan Championships in September past, going up against Muhammad Ali in the white. First time that we've seen Ali compete in the gi in some time. He had a couple of matches earlier this year, but he was one of the athletes that did drop off during the pandemic period. Uh, it's very difficult, he was explaining for us, for him to, to train as necessary. Oh, look at this, immediately, Toriander Pass putting the pressure on Felipe Andrew, testing the flexibility of the guard, jumps over. They're not wasting any time right now, How? and I think Muhammad is happy to be back. Great exchange early, but Felipe Andrew was able to get into a, a more of an open guard. Muhammad looking great, though, off the jump. Explosive start, and I feel that this is anything, this is... Uh, this is Ali saying, you know what, I'm happy to be back. You know, he had a long layoff last year, 2020, didn't, barely competed, um, missed the majority of, the, of that season, missed the majority of the, or all of the major IBJJF tournaments over the last year or so. Whereas Felipe Andrew used that period, and man, he racked up a lot of big wins. 2020 Pan Champion, 2021 Pan Champion, took double gold, uh, the 2021 Pans very recently, and, and has looked, Pretty much untouchable in the game. Yeah, well said. And interesting to note, at least at the black belt level, Felipe Andrew is 2-0 over Muhammad. Uh, so he does have a, a little bit of an edge there in their pass exchanges. But again, it's been a long time since we saw Muhammad. Maybe he has some new tricks or some new ways that he thinks he can take out someone like Felipe Andrew. Wow, it's actually torn Muhammad Ali's gi. <laughs> Muhammad Ali's sleeve has been ripped from the wrist almost to the elbow as a result of Maha, uh, Felipe Andrews' lasso guard. 2021 IBJJF World Nogi Champion. All right, looks like straight back in. It's not his sponsor's gi. I've absolutely no idea where he's got this one from. Probably just got it some, from some random guy in some the crowd. Some random massive dude in the crowd just handed yep. him a guitar. top. He's probably running around checking people. He's like, yeah, you, how big are you? 6'3". <laughs> and we're off and running here. Yep, okay, it'll do. Straight back into this lasso guard situation. Nice yeah. tilt sweep there from Felipe Andrew. No points until he actually comes up, though. He's still kind of on his side. He needs to attain the top position before he actually gets the points on the board. Mohammed very much stuck. Immediately into this long step pass here. Felipe Andrews is the one now pushing up the pressure. And yet, Ali manages to resist. Comes back on top, gets the advantage for the... Felipe Andrew gets the advantage. It's 1-1 one, one on advantages here. Yeah, that was critical that, that Felipe Andrew was not awarded those sweep points. I think it's because he immediately launched with his momentum from the sweep into that long step that the referees may have considered that a continuous action and thus was only awarded an advantage as he ended up on bottom at the end of that exchange. Well, he also wasn't really on top in that long step pass because he was still on his side, very much on the mat. It wasn't really a... didn't establish the top position. Felipe Andrew doing his best to tear another sleeve Can't here. Can't see the angle here. Yeah, this is the, we need to see those grips. And the, they are really, there's an aggressive uh, grip battle going on here. Lumberjack sweep attempt there from Felipe Andrew on bottom. Well, K guard action. Throws that hook over. Trying to suck up the leg of Muhammad Ali. Got still got that sleeve grip as well. Got 
very much in this 50-50. And I see that sleeve grip there. I think Felipe Andrews looking for the 50-50 armbar He's chase. hunting it. Muhammad's pretty out of danger for now, but Felipe Andrews has the grip strength to pull him in. Opts to come up now on top and is awarded the two points. But Muhammad wasted no time bringing things back to the feet. And I don't think either of these guys have a distinct advantage in the stand-up. Muhammad has some very, very good judo takedowns. Felipe Andrews' wrestling is also very, very effective. Not surprised to see uh, Andrew pulling guard and using his long legs from this open guard position because in a stand-up exchange, really anything could happen. Big grip right from Muhammad there. Nice pass attack here from Muhammad Ali. Almost gets around. He actually has the elbow control. He manages to put Felipe Andrew on his back and scores three points. Well-timed attack there from Muhammad Ali. Really smooth. I mean, didn't have to force that one bit. Just timed it as he looks to go into mount. Almost for the back. Mounts. Andrew rolls and comes out the back. No points for that sequence, but he'll try to attack to the top position himself here. Ali has to be careful, he doesn't give up his back here. Manages to recover a hook. But hey, we got a fight on our hands, Chase. It is three points to two for Muhammad Ali now. That was a very significant exchange there. Razor thin, but Muhammad Ali has a slim lead. I'm loving this match. This is so much action, great exchanges. Muhammad doing a nice job, though, of going back to his happy place. He's getting back to the feet. He's not staying in guard. And I think uh, that may work to his benefit, right? Even if he has to go back into Felipe Andrews' guard, it's better than being on his back in this scenario. I actually see him nodding uh, in acknowledgement because he's listening to some advice there from his coach, Lloyd Irvin, just off to the side. And I wonder what that exchange was. There's no way we can hear him in a venue as loud as this. But I'd be interested to know what Lloyd would be telling him at this stage because we got... Well, almost halfway through the match. Uh, sorry, just over halfway through the match. So, there's still plenty of time to go. And that lasso guard, look at this. The Felipe Andrew just inserts the lasso hook very, very deep. Came very close to scoring the sweep with it first time around. Ali is going to have to be cautious here. But also, we saw that these were the kind of positions, especially with the pant grips, that Ali was able to initiate mm. those passes. going high there don't sleep on Felipe Andrews triangle it is one of the deadliest triangles in the game he has a very unusual almost reverse lasso sweep there he has a very very dangerous open guard his, his triangle armbar is just incredible Muhammad does a nice job though briefly stripping that Felipe Andrews the triangle armbar Man, it's like a cobra strike. It's so fast. When he raises his hips off the ground with those feet in there, you got to look out. This is also dangerous. Felipe Andrew has one of the nastiest ankle locks in the game. He'll use it to unbalance into score and immediately attack for a pass here. And I think that he could get this chase very close to securing top position. Has to deal with that near side leg. Good, record, good guard recovery from Ali. Still not out of danger either. That foot is not in optimal placement for Muhammad Ali. Talking about his left leg there, but he does use it. Massive tilt to come back on top. Running around to the back. There's a switch attempt from Felipe Andrew. Nice use of the hook there in coming around into almost this leg drag position. Two points for Muhammad Ali. And he's going close to getting in the back here as well, Chase. Man, five points to four. This match oh, no, could Felipe, not... though, good spot on top. This match could not be closer. <laughs> I'm loving it. Muhammad's uh, awareness to weave his foot inside as he's looking to pass on top there just a moment ago was really something special. He could have been caught 50-50, but now we have this current tank entanglement, which is kind of risky for both. Very, very. <laughs> almost like this reverse half guard, the back step from the half guard here, and this Felipe Andrew is in a good spot to pass if he can get his right leg through and free. But the recovery into the half guard for Muhammad Ali, who is looking to kind of try and 
Try and get back to, as you called it earlier, a happy place, a better position, because look at this. Oh, we see here now. That looks close. Ali Bridges, I think that Felipe Andrew will probably get an advantage for that near guard pass attempt there. Yes, he will. Still five points to four for Muhammad Ali. Just over a minute and a half remaining in this match. Some deep breaths, though, coming from Muhammad on bottom. He's feeling the pressure now as Felipe looks to pass. See, Muhammad goes to this deep half now here with the lapel control as well. That's not bad. Not a, bad, not a bad place to survive here, but... No, exactly. I was going to say, if you want to cook the clock, deep half is not a terrible scenario, especially with the lapel. But again, Muhammad's holding on at this point, whereas Felipe is looking to enact some offense, to enact some passing here. Almost does so, manages to get his leg free. But look at this, the lapel grip between the legs. Muhammad Ali gets a huge takedown and scores two points. That is now seven points to four. Muhammad may be referencing a match which he lost with Kenyon Cornelius from a similar scenario with the lapel wrap used to an active sweep. So some new facets here to Muhammad's game. And now he's in the driver's seat with just 35 seconds to remain up by three points and an advantage. And a pass attack here as well. We could see another guard pass. Muhammad Ali gets around three points. 10 points to four. Muhammad Ali is such in just such control here. Man, this has been an incredible match. Some amazing sequences, so evenly matched, going back and forth. But I think, if anything, Chase, it is the sheer, oh, last <laughs> ditch attack there from Felipe Andrew. I think it was just the sheer willpower of Muhammad Ali that won that match. Some amazing use of the technique, some amazing timing, but. That was an incredible like match, he, Al. I just felt like he wanted it more. He definitely was in some precarious scenarios, but again, was always able to kind of turn things into his favor. Great strategy from Muhammad. Left it all on the mats there. You can see, taking a moment to catch his breath. That's Felipe a classic Andrew, match up there, right, Hal? It really was. I mean, Felipe Andrew's going to be asking himself, man, how did I let that slip through my fingers? Because he had some incredible attack positions and came so close. But Muhammad Ali's grit and determination, such a, a huge factor in that match. That was, a, that was a wild one. I rare to see a, a, a match, such a high scoring match like that, 10 points to four. And the winner of this one, of course, Muhammad Ali will go on to face Victor Hugo in the final later this afternoon. The middleweight finals take place at 3 p.m., the heavyweight immediately after. Muhammad's going to need that full hour to recover, I think. He left, he left a lot of himself out there on the mats. Well-deserved win. I'm going to go back and watch that right now, I think, Al. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot to, uh, to glean from that match. And I think Felipe Andrews' guard was incredible. His, his lasso was such a factor for Muhammad Ali. Man, he had all the answers, especially for those, uh, for those sweeps. Um, a sweep of his own, actually. He had one beautiful tilt sweep from half guard, like a John Wayne style sweep that that was really spectacular and high level technique. Here's a, a little look at some of the best moments, and there were so many. I'm not sure we can catch them all, but no surprise to see Felipe Andrews' open guard uh, employed. The K guard was very interesting as well to see them get caught in there. I'm really glad they didn't get tangled up for too long in the leg fighting game because. Well, it just it, it, it led to some amazing exchanges. It was a very open game. This huge last second takedown there from Muhammad Ali just sealed it. That's just... That's a lot of power. Man, that is a lot of power. It's a big man throwing you down to the mat. 